Hello, World of Tank Blitzers. Hey, it's Littlefinger. Today, doing a full tank review on the M6. This is an American Tier 6 heavy tank. You can see it here in the garage, and this thing is huge. Um, it does have some pretty nice armor from the front, about 102 millimeters, but your biggest weakness is going to be this huge side and back. Um, 44 millimeters on the hull, 83 on the turret here. So uh, don't expect to get too many bounces. Um, the tank does come in at 58 tons, but just like its little brother, the T1 there, it does move around very well with uh, the turret traverse speed at 33.6 degrees per second and the traverse speed at 34. Um, just want to go real quick here into the tech tree. We are at the bottom. Next step up, T29, T32, M103, and then the E5. Great line of tanks, all with very good gun depression. The M6 here has negative 10 to positive 30. Um, best in class by far. Looking real quick at consumables, repair kits, multi-purpose, adrenaline, provisions, protective kit, improved fuel, and case of cola. Ammunition running 40 rounds of AP. APCR only 7 rounds and remember guys you can buy that with credits using that shell price button on the right. Only a few rounds of HE, rarely use it. As far as equipment goes, this is basically just very standard for me with this tier. Don't spend any spare parts on this tank. It's not a tournament worthy tank, um, but I still find it very fun to drive. It's, it's a little bit of a bully out there. Uh, so we're running the gun rammer, we're running defense system, and we're re running improved optics. Alright guys, here we are on blitzstars.com using tank compare. Uh, sorry if that felt like a lightning round, but I'm trying to kind of pare this down and do a little less talking. So anyway, you can see M6 here is our tank on the left that we are comparing the rest of the Tier 6 heavies to. At 1716 DPM, right in the middle there. One thing I do like about this tank is you can see with our rate of fire and penetration, um, we do get uh, enough shots in and we're doing a fairly nice damage there at 225 that um, you know it's not a tank where you're exposed all the time with a high reload low damage tank and it's not a tank like the KV-1S where you've got a really long reload time and you're doing a lot of damage and if you miss one shot it could be the difference in the game so I, I find this more utilitarian so to speak in that regard um, still ARL 44 is the best heavy in the class here um, Nice aim time, 2.08 when you compare it to the other heavies. Like I said before, negative 10 to positive 30 is great on the gun depression. And 35 miles per hour, while it, it, you know, it looks good here, um, some of the other tanks are a little bit faster. Where it stands out is those traverse speeds in the mid-30s. Most of these other heavies are going to be in the mid-20s, so you'll really feel the difference uh, playing this tank and its ability to turn. Um, maybe not so much to accelerate and drive in a straight line. But anyway, um, you know, that's pretty much it. We'll get into some gameplay here. All right, so first game, bottom tier, Naval Frontier in the M6. And uh, just checking out our team and their team, three tier sevens. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be a little bit cautious at first here and uh, come up to this first little area and find that bush that everyone hides in and just take one quick shot, see if I get spotted and back away. Now, as I mentioned in the opening there, you can see how big the side of this tank is. So you really have to be careful and watch the sides. Try to use that um, turret rotation to keep the tank, you know, in front of you and whatnot. But um, anyway, so looks like they did not come down the heavy line so what I like to do with this tank is just find some hills 
um, obviously with the negative 10 degrees of gun depression it's going to allow you just to peek the front of the turret over the hill and not expose too much of this ginormous tank but they've all lined up here in the middle right around cap so I'm going to get a little bit too aggressive here and uh, actually fall down the hill didn't mean to do that but uh, we get a kill out of it so now I've kind of got to keep my eye to the right there and um, we're going to trade shots with the Cromwell which is fine because we've got uh, more damage but we got to be cognizant of the fact that uh, he has a much faster reload than we do plus uh, got to be wary about our aim time as well so you know with playing the T1 the tier below this um, I very much wanted to get in the face of everyone else uh, I find the armor on here is not as good you'll get bounces but nowhere near as much as the T1 gave you so you can see here not really the greatest um, idea to just trade shots uh, but we do manage to finish off the Cromwell one on one there now part of the reason that uh, I wanted to just illustrate this game first is uh, is for this upcoming exchange and um, just how I set up here to side scrape off of this rock instead of pulling out straight from the front and having all of those weak spots exposed you can see we get uh, a bounce there from the KV-1S so um, and that's because we've got keeping that angle very sharp to him and um, We'll do the same thing here and actually get him to shoot it into the rock. And basically, I'm just covering the front plate. And he's backed around the corner, so we'll take a shot into the cheek of the ARL. And you can see here, as I'm, what I'm doing is just trying to keep the front of the tank in front. And uh, we do take a shot there from the KB-1S, but we finish off with the ARL with three kills. Um, we do 2,241 damage, and it didn't seem like, uh, you know, we had you know didn't take that many shots we took 10 shots so um, nice damage there and you know competitive even at tier uh, 7 alright one more game real quick here as bottom tier on Falls Creek this is a supremacy game and uh, we're gonna use our speed here and get to the rock right in front of C and prepare to side scrape and just wait to see what's going on. They've got someone in Cap B, um, and this just goes to show you the uh, almost how good the gun depression is. I can come up here and I get them right on the roof, but it does bounce before, and uh, they Cap B. So they've obviously pushed middle pretty hard. I don't have any support behind me going around to C, so I make the decision to go into the middle here. And uh, this is kind of the bully mentality um, from my days driving the T1. So you can see we get our first bounce there. And uh, there's the Chrome B. And we've got tanks on both sides of this rock now. And so this is uh, the downside to being super aggressive. Um, but it's really difficult to obviously keep um, the, the front of the tank pointed to two different places so we get the kill there um, and thankfully uh, these guys just have you know the the low damage guns so they were eating it they're chipping away at our hip pool um, and uh, we are just trying to stay alive as long as possible you can see we are down a tank at this point um, this Krom's going to make a run for it, and uh, you can see I've been shot in the am ammo uh, twice, so we've had to repair that. Now I'm getting shot from behind, so I want to get behind this ridge right here, and uh, I guess the, uh, the AMX there, he doesn't realize that, and so he kind of gets in my way. Um, but we managed to double tap the SU-100Y and finish him off, and I've got a VK here in front. And just going to try to keep it slightly angled uh, away from him. And I see this SU-100, um, the 152 there, sorry, is uh, chasing the, the T-29. Um, so we're going to try to keep our 
our guy in the game, which is the reason I made this decision to come this way and we'll go ahead and ram and track him. Um, and so, you know, even though we didn't get the kill there, we certainly helped our teammates stay alive. Um, not sure what this VK was doing while I was doing all that, but you can see there's another bounce. Um, and we're just going to pin him up against here. We do die in the end, but we end up with three kills. And just this bully mentality of getting in everyone's face, make it difficult for them to aim on those weak spots. And we do 2690 in damage. It was good enough for a mastery badge there. And um, certainly top of the team there. Twice the damage of the AMX. All right, so here's one more game as bottom tier, and um, it's kind of a short game, but I uh, wanted to just show you this because not every game is going to be 2,000 plus damage, and I wanted to show you some of the pen issues that I had on a T29, obviously a tier 7. So we run left, and I'm being pretty gutsy here because we've got some guys on the hill and they haven't spotted anyone so I'm assuming that they've all gone onto the ship and um, we get a spot here on the left and you know obviously one of the downsides all of these mediums here lights are gonna take this poor guy out before I even get a chance so we have been spotted and um, I just roll out through this open area to get smacked in the side by that SU. You come up here and oh my gosh there's a T29 so you know we've taken two shots um, both kind of carelessly um, we did get one pen in there and uh, there's the second one and somehow that 640 roll um, bounced. Now I'm not sure how that happened but uh, there's my first issue with penning the front of the T29 and we traded shots. Uh, his obviously penetrated, mine did not. Um, but I was more concerned about that TD that was shooting me. And uh, so you can see there's another shot into the front that bounces. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some shots at this AFK tank. Man, this is basically <laughs> like my only damage of the game. Um, I'm thinking that T29 was going to keep moving around, but uh, he does come after me here. And again, shot bounces. Um, so be wary of that. Um, you know, it looked like I could pen that, but um, we didn't get it in. So I might have probably switch that over to APCR um, so you're gonna have a little bit of problems here with the tier 7 heavies um, frontally that is so um, 974 damage you know not a great game alright so here's a game as top tier on mines so we're gonna push up the hill here We've got the M4 with us. Um, looks like that AMX went up and spotted and then came back down the hill. So we're just going to try to use our gun depression here. We're uh, trying to look both left and right. And, uh, you know, when these guys get close, we just keep backing down. Um, and see how much damage that VK took just by peeking around the corner. So I'm hoping I can make it up, get him out. Um, 42 hit points left. The M4 goes in for the kill there. We've still got that one guy in the bush, but uh, I'm seeing two guys pushing left here. So now there's a third. So I want to go help hold this corner. When I come around the corner here, you can see this Kuro is staring right at me. Um, bounces that shot. We track him. Um, and he's on the move. Bit of a difficult choice there. So uh, 
now that we've got him out of that position he doesn't have shots down here um, so we can go use this high point here and uh, get shots in on this KV-1 AMX doesn't know we're here um, now he is back behind the building miss our opportunity and trade shots with the KV-1 is a little bit disappointing there um, should have taken that shot a little bit sooner got one more of the PZ-4 here behind the building I'm just hoping he's gonna back up what I see we've got company here in the mouth of the, the mine entrance so um, get a shot in the Kuro in drop the adrenaline there or we did before um, yeah I'm pretty bad about timing the adrenaline not sure why but uh, anyway um, finish off that Kuro and then we've got a light tank coming at us here always good to try to get them to ram um, obviously with them being so small we want to get some distance to finish them off another track shot by the tight 58 get kill number three there one more guy left um, there he is kv1 pushing around the side so this is a little bit of a hectic game um, tanks everywhere obviously their tank their team split up um, not a very effective maneuver usually doesn't work out get a little bit too aggressive again as we fall down the hill um, but we get kill number four there we end up doing 2478 damage it was a mastery badge um, aided with those four kills obviously and uh, you know just a fun tank as top tier I like it because of, of the maneuverability um, the fairly quick reload you're doing good damage you've got good penetration numbers um, so all around good tank but I will say it does come with the caveat that you have to be very map aware you have to keep this tank angled uh, forwards to your opponents as much as possible just because of the sheer size and uh, you'll see some of that in this gameplay here on black gold villas top tier supremacy game our mediums have pushed the middle and uh, they've got quite a few heavies so um, just gonna come in here and take a couple bounces um, these guys are doing some horrible driving I'm not sure why you would back down the hill sideways and you can see their guys are doing a pretty good job of staying hold down even this T1 using his gun depression to get a shot into my side um, and that's one of the things here being in this position is very difficult for me to to face forward uh, we get a quick snapshot into that KV-1 um, our type T-34 you can see there sat on the hill and died quickly so um, not very wise there make sure you're always behind cover and uh, you can see I'm taking pot shots from places I don't even see people at this point in time so going to relocate um, there's another shot luckily we have just over a thousand hit point pool uh, there he is um, he's shooting me from over here that one tracked so we can tuck in and get shot by that KV-1 who's shooting HE um, I'd be quite upset if he was my teammate but uh, anyway that's kind of the state of the play of the game these days don't want to pull out there because I figure he's looking at me VK is not so we finish him off and again this is I'm trying to do my best to, to look around and shoot when these guys aren't looking at me and get back into cover um, this shot coming up here is a little curious obviously got him lined up the pipes are next to me we take a shot and we hit the pipe that's a little disappointing um, 
But anyway, it's three on three right now. We've got this VK down here tracked. And I'm going to drop adrenaline and try to get another shot into him before he gets away. And uh, we double tap him and finish him up. And it's back to two on two. And I know that guy is all the way down the other side of the road. So I'm trying to get to around the bricks here. We get a track shot. He shoots HE again. Only 59 damage. I'm backing up. Basically trying to stay as perpendicular as possible to him when we get the kill shot here. Um, there we see him all the way down the road and another track shot repair and move forward as fast as possible now had the decision here do I go ahead and cap B or do we go in and corner this guy so I'm going for the kill here like I said you know it's fairly mobile for a heavy tank we're doing 35 kilometers per hour we've got some good turret traverse and just regular traverse speeds uh, I, I you know it's just a fairly mobile heavy tank outside of its size which is to me the biggest downfall of this the gun aims really quickly a lot better than the T1 gun um, and you can see how we just turn and move um, you know that would have been kind of cumbersome in a T150 or KV1S or something um, but we end up finishing with the kill. So we end up with three kills there. Um, I think it was kind of our, our map awareness allowed us to, to stay hidden and conserve our hit points as best we could. We were getting shot from all over um, and allowed us to do 2476 in damage. So with that being said, um, you know, we took nine shots there. A lot of those for zero damage hitting tracks and whatnot but anyway you know like I've shown this is a fairly mobile tank keep it aimed or or pointed directly at your opponents to keep that frontal armor uh, you will get some bounces if you can keep the side armor at a very steep angle um, HE doesn't do too much damage to the sides it will to the back if you get shot there but um, you know the gun is a nice fast re reloading gun you can get the 10 shots in per game and you can get those 2000 um, damage games so one of my go-to tanks whenever I want some some high roll games with damage so uh, hopefully you guys have learned a few tips on how to play this a little bit better and a uh, little bit shorter cut off about seven minutes off my typical 30 minute review so hopefully that's a little bit better and guys if you uh, enjoyed this tank uh, review make sure you subscribe and, and get updates and as always stay safe it's just a game have fun and as always get educated not fingered a little finger out